today. Today we're talking about resting in the beauty of the eyes open to see. Are you willing to really see from your light being? Are you willing to no longer be manipulated and no longer be swept away or persuaded by the stories that you are hearing? There are a lot of stories out there and it's really easy to get swept away and persuaded by them. The important thing to remember is that they are stories. They are polarized stories that is all coming from the infinite creator, um, which we are all part of, and they're all stories. So there is a concentric circle model that I play with, and I feel like it's really helping shed some light on the realities we are living all here at once. So think about this. Think about the stories, every story, whether it's a story of light, whether it's a story of darkness, whether it's a story of politics, whether it's a story of relationships, schools, whether it's a story about evolution, it's all a story. And all those stories are right in the center, right in the bullseye. Okay, these stories right here. All right, now anytime we start to have a broader perspective of this story and we go out into the next ring and we try to figure out psychologically what's happening with the people, why does this happen kind of thing, we're in the psychological realm. And if we broaden our perspective from that, we go out into this other ring, kind of the spiritual energetic realm, what's happening energetically and spiritually. And then the glory of this next ring is out here in oneness and unity. This is that ring that we are in this witness body. We get to like peep in. We're like little voyeurs, if you will, at all the stories and, and how it's happening and why and all the interplay. And out here in this oneness ring, we get to be kind of non-polar observers, okay? Non-objective observers. We just get to witness it all. We are witnessing without reactions. And so, so I would really want to talk about this today because I've been, since I've been on YouTube every day for the past, I don't know, four or five months, um, I have been listening to some crazy, stop some crazy conspiracy theories some crazy stories and crazy what I mean is just wow there are some really interesting um, perspectives out there and stories and it's really cool it's really cool where the stories are going we have kind of mainstream stories and then we have on the polar opposite all the stories that are kind of um, kind of saying, come out of hide and seek, like look at what this story is creating, look at what they're trying to do. So st uh, kind of their, this side of the polarity is calling out about how these stories have been uh, manipulating others. And so it's really interesting. However, it's still a story and it's still on the polar opposite end. So if we really want to get out of the this reality of these stories because whether it's a conspiracy story or um a, a, a shedding light on what is that word just um calling out story it's still a story and so then we have the story of kind of the mainstream stuff that's happening and it's like oh it'll make your head spin and so it gets you overwhelmed it gets you angry for being manipulated all right so when you are feeling anger and overwhelm and frustration and what do we do now? And I'm going over this side, I'm going to this side of polarity. When we're all in this charged state, we're still in the center bullseye of the story, 
okay? Even if we go out here and we start to be like, oh, this is why this ha is happening on an energetic level, um, we're still kind of in these inner rings. So my friends, how do we get to this outer perspective? So we're just kind of peering in and kind of, kind of watching, all right? Be of your light body, be the light. And you may say, well, I can't put my head in the sand and I can't like just live in a bubble. I have to participate. How do we change the world? And I don't know if the world needs changing or if it's just kind of this awakening process that happens and how do we awaken? I have several videos on um, kind of the, the waking up process in my playlist, um, Ascension and Awakening. But for this topic, if you feel like you're getting swept away by a story, even the story that's kind of outing the mainstream story, it's still a story and there's still charge, okay? Any emotion that is not joy and ecstasy and, and peace uh, have us, has us leaving our natural state of being. So if you are in a charge, if you are in a anger, if you are in frustration and overwhelm, you've left your natural state of being. The cool part about it, those emotions are telling you. Red alert, red alert. You have left your natural state of being. You are letting a story sweep you away. Now, if a story is sweeping you away, you may want to ask the question of like, what am I finding important here? Something's important here. What is it? Something's important to me. And when something's important to us, there's usually a belief system around it. So if you're getting angry and overwhelmed around the stories you're hearing around kind of the outing stories of the the mainstream, like all the underground stuff that's happening, all the really kind of dark stuff that's happening, and you feel pretty angry about it or is char charged about it, ask yourself, what what's happening here? Um what am I aware of here? Um, what really is happening? What, where do I have choice here? So we do have choice. We do have choice to participate in a way that will help us get to that outer ring of just witnessing it all. The way to do that is to tune in to your authentic self. Tune into your light being. Know it. Feel it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Now, anything that expands that, that's what you want to choose. Anything that contracts that, that's what you don't want to choose. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, there is no right or wrong or good or bad in this universe. So if you, what I mean by expand or contract and it choose for your lightness is that if you are a hundred percent committed to the light and, and expanding consciousness, then you would choose for the expanding consciousness. Now, if that's not really your thing, then feel it choosing for something that's contracted and having an awareness of what that might, might create. It's not right or wrong. It's just know that it's not going to be expanding the light. It's going to be maybe a fun ride because sometimes choosing for heaviness is is kind of interesting and fun and stuff like that. So there's no right or wrong. But if your path, is the ascension process an awakening and evolving consciousness, then you would want to follow what's expanding the light. Now with this tool, you actually don't have to know all the stories and, you know, facts. Now there's so much out there, you know, check your facts, you know, research it yourself. Guys, on the internet, there is something for anything. Anything that says a story about this side is gonna have a story on this side. Every fact that says it this way is gonna have a fact that has it this way. You can see it with all like the, the masks up. There's scientists saying um, that favor uh, mask and no mask. So guys, anything you can find on the internet has an opposite fact checked for it. It's just the way it is right now. So really what we want to do is get ninja and go out to the next tier of the concentric circles here and really be in our oneness state. Be really be in unity consciousness so that we can just look in, okay? 
And we get to be aware beyond the facts. We get to be aware uh, beyond the stories from that perspective. So you get to vote, you get to parent, you get to do business from this real expanded space of choosing to expand the light. So for a very simple example, uh, I wake up and say, you know, what, um, what am I going to do to grow my business today? You know, that's, and then uh, a few things come in mind and I go, okay, what is the latest possibility? And I go for what really expands my light. I do the same thing to see if my body wants any nutritional or supplement support. I'll stand in front of a few things and be like, body, which, which do you want? And I feel my body gravitate towards something. I'm going to be doing this. I know this kind of sounds crazy. I'm going to be doing the same thing with voting, my voting ballot. Um, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to like point to each one. I'm going to see what expands my light and what contracts it. And that is how I'm going to be voting. Guys, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but um, what's even crazier is being swayed by all the stories we're hearing on the internet, all the articles we're reading, because if someone is a powerful writer or speaker, you are going to be swayed that way. They know just how to manipulate you. They know how just to get into your pain body and your emotional body. So if you want to stop being manipulated, you're going to have to go out into this outer ring and feel into what your light body is, feel what unity consciousness feels like, and choose to expand that. And every choice you make, be aware of if, if it expands that or if it contracts it. You do not have to go fa fact check checking. You do not have to keep reading stories and watching videos on all these uh, stories, unless it's entertaining to you and unless it's light. So if you can watch these stories and read these articles with expansion of light, then go for it. Okay. So follow it. So nothing is going to be able to sway, persuade you if you're a hundred percent committed to the light and choosing for something that expands your lightness. You are unmanipulatable. You're not able to be persuaded and you're not a, you don't you won't get swept away into this current yes there are stories happening there are things happening there's things being revealed um and if you feel like you are a light worker that feels very light about going into certain elements of the stories that are unfolding on the planet go for it that means it's your job to shine your flashlight on it and bring awareness to it. But just know it's not going to be everyone's journey, light worker journey to shed light on everything, okay? And when you are shining your flashlight on say sex trafficking or the political realm or whatever it is, the school systems, um, whatever you feel called that, that expansion of light you will feel expanded when you're working with it. You will feel like on point, you will feel light. However, you may have to be the potency that's required in that field. So you may be, um, you know, acting out in like a, this kind of way, right? But inside you feel the lightness. So notice with that. So if I was parenting, from this this way you know something that expands my light but I'm realizing the potency my son's need is kind of a, a firm kind of um, a loud voice I would be the loud firm voice but I would not be hooked into it emotionally inside I would be feeling the lightness so the same thing is if you're going into these stories and you're like um, this conspiracy theory is what one of these things that I feel really drawn to. It feels really light. I'm going to go into it. Go for it. Be the potency that's required there, but make sure in here you're feeling the light and you can act out whatever you want that's required to get the effect that you think um, you're aware of that is required, that is needed. Um, so I hope that's clear. If there's any questions about this, put it in the comments. I'm happy to keep the conversation going here. Um, so 
as we are going and choosing for our lightness, we also get to be the potency that's required to make a shift. So a good example of that is, is the story of Christ walking into the temple and then Christ having this Christ consciousness, but he was willing to be the potency that the people in the temple could hear by lifting up the uh, tables, right? He got he got feisty. He got he, he he spoke a language that these people could hear by just getting aggressive, right? Flipping the tables over. And most likely he was still holding that light consciousness. So we get to walk that same way. So what are we feeling right now? Um are can you be in whatever you're choosing in the expanded light body? If you are going into a conspiracy theory or going into politics or going into I'm um, talking about protesting and sex trafficking and it is crushing your soul and that's why you're going for it you may <laughs> consider um pulling back getting into this outer tier of oneness and unity looking at it from that veil that there is no right or wrong or good or bad everything is just shifting energy and expanding consciousness and notice is it yours to do? Ask the question. Is it light for me to go into this story? And if it expands your light, go for it. A lot of times what's happening is we are getting horrified by the stories that are coming up. We're horrified and we jump in because we're horrified. And from there, the light has contracted. So I'm urging you <laughs> to expand back out, go into that outer ring, okay? Get unhorrified, okay? See the light in everything and ask yourself, what is my to do? What is the lightest path? Is it light to go, go, go into that realm? And if it is, go forth in the light and be the potency that's required in the moment. All right, so I have two little songs for you to kind of land this information and to uh, really start choosing from your lightness. So the first one is called Kiss of God. Under all emotions is the kiss of God, patiently waiting to be seen and heard. Okay, God, the light. The light is patiently waiting for you, all right? Please, as you jump into your missions, please take the light with you. Not the anger, not the horrification, okay? Use those to let you know where you are, then expand back out and ask if it's yours to do and feel the expansion of light. Or if it contracts, you may not wanna choose it. It's your choice. All right, here it goes. feelings and emotions, tune into your belief systems, tune into your emotions, ask what's important here, release some of that old belief system, and find you again. All right, this is the bloom and the blossom.
Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thanks for listening to this message, and thanks for being part of this high vibe tribe. See you next time.